All right, great to be with you today in Luke chapter 22. If you have your Bibles, please turn to Luke chapter 22. We're going to read verse 39 and 40. The Bible says, Coming out, he went to the Mount of Olives as he was accustomed, and his disciples also followed him, which is what disciples do. When he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And then, you know, if you're reading along with me, down in verse 46, then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Uh, you know, as I read this, I am reminded, not the first time that they've had prayer and the issue of overcoming temptation connected together, right? Because he said to them, as he was teaching them to pray, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. I mean, there is. Maybe today you've been really tempted. You know, you're, you're in a tough spot, maybe at work or maybe among your friends, maybe in school, and uh, there are temptations that are, are really beginning to influence you. And you're thinking, God, I don't know. I don't know if I can survive this. Like, how do I deal with temptation in my life? Well, yesterday we talked about how Christ is faithful to pray for us. So, so listen, number one, no. Number one, know that Jesus himself is praying for you and he's praying that your faith will not fail. But you know, not only do you rely on the prayers of Jesus, but you need to be praying yourself, right? How do you overcome and avoid temptation? Well, the Bible says here, these are the words of Christ. This is, this is not pastor making it up, but he says, pray lest you enter into temptation. So before temptation even comes, the solution for us before it comes, when it comes, even after it has come, is for us to pray, to draw near to God, to really seek the heart of God. You know, it's in times of prayer, number one, that we are having our heart shaped after God's heart. You know, there's something beautiful that happens when we're praying uh, where the Holy Spirit influences the way that we think. You know, it's, it's really hard to be actively engaged in sin while you're praying at the same time. You know that those two things are in such great conflict that you can't be doing both of those things simultaneously. And when you're praying and seeking the face of God, you know, you're, the Spirit of God is influencing the way that you think, right? It's, you're being honest with God about the reality of sin. It, the, the Spirit of God is influencing your heart and so there's a shaping of your heart to desire the things that God desires for you, right? The Bible says that if we walk in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And so it's in that time of prayer. All I'm saying today is how powerful is prayer? How helpful is prayer for you to be in a place where you're avoiding temptation and not getting drawn in or influenced by it? Well, when you're praying, the Spirit of God is influencing the very desires of your heart. In addition to that, it's in prayer that you're lifting up your petitions to the Father. So in prayer, you're moving away from trusting yourself and your own strength and your own abilities, and you're asking God for help. And this is, maybe this is one of the most important things, because I'll tell you right now, if you're looking to overcome temptation by the power of your own might, you are going to fail. You're going to fail. You need God's help. That old nature within us is always longing for a morsel of sin. And you know, once it, si it sinks its teeth into even the smallest bite of sin, it's looking for more. And so in prayer, what we do is we learn to lean on God and trust in God. We acknowledge that there's that proclivity, the inclination within our own lives to desire what's wrong. And so we ask God, we seek we knock on uh, his heart for his help. And then in prayer, we rejoice. Let me just close the loop on this. We rejoice that he gives us the victory, right? And so we stand steadfastly, not in this place of um, unknown, not in this place of shifting sand, not wondering whether God's gonna come through or if he's not gonna come through. No, when we pray, we stand confidently that our Father will be faithful to us. So. You know, there was, there was so much, like the statement he made is so pregnant with, with you know, 
beautiful spiritual truth. I want to encourage you today, very simple. Listen, lean into the heart of the Father and spend time praying because that is how you will be victorious over temptation. Oh God, thank you so much. We ask you today that you would influence through your spirit, our minds, the way we think, our hearts, what we desire, that you would help us to trust in you and your power to overcome sin and that we would receive by faith the answer before it even comes to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.